from the Newstalk ZB Newsroom, this is News Fix. In this update, those ringing in the new year at music festivals may want to bring a raincoat. Most of the country is expected to see bouts of rain to end 2023, with the potential for thunderstorms and even hail in some parts. Met Service meteorologist John Law says those in Gisborne will see some showers potentially dampening festivities towards the end of the day. Well worth keeping those gumboots and raincoats close to hand for the early morning celebrations there. But if you like Cadrona, we should hopefully find some dry conditions pushing back towards us, but still just that chance of a few showers as well. And as the drinks flow on New Year's Eve, you might want to throw in a water or two for good measure. Plenty of parties are planned. Police will be on the beat, especially around popular holiday road, uh, hotspots and places under an alcohol ban. Wellington charity Take 10, which provides water and a safe space for those in town, will be helping out to 3am. Chair Clint Schultz expects it to be a big night despite wind and rain. If anything, a lot of people, when it's rainy or cold, they tend to stay in the pubs longer. Worries axing the clean car discount will slow environmental progress. Vehicles registered after today won't be discounted if they're low emission or electric and extra fees won't apply for high emission vehicles. Better NZ spokesperson Rob Burney says prior to the scheme only 2% of vehicles were electric or hybrid and that's now 20%. But that is going to drop away dramatically as the clean car discount goes for the simple fact that clean cars will become less affordable for New Zealanders. A severe heat wave is expected to impact three states in Australia heading into New Year. Parts of Queensland, the Northern Territory and Western Australia have been put on alert with conditions 8 to 12 degrees above average. And a heads up for dog owners to think twice about letting your furry friend roll around in the grass. At this time of year, grass seeds are out and about and can catch to a dog's fur and scratch their skin and even get into their body. That's news. I'm Jenny Woods. In sport, South Africa's named a makeshift squad bereft of their big names for a two-test cricket tour of New Zealand in February. The bulk of the pro tiers regulars are contractually bound to play for their domestic franchises in South Africa's T20 competition, which clashes with the series. Uncapped opening batter Neil Brand will captain the squad, which features seven potential test debutants. Two wins in three days for Manchester City in football's Premier League. The defending champs have been beaten Sheffield United 2-0 at home to move within two points of leaders Liverpool. Aston Villa, Chelsea, Crystal Palace and Wolves have also picked up wins. And a venomous snake has interrupted play at the Brisbane and Tennis International. Former US Open champ Dominic Thiem was a set down in his qualifying match when an eastern brown snake was spotted courtside among the electrical wires. The match was brought to a halt for 40 minutes while the snake, snake was safely removed. Team recovered following the delay to win in three sets. That's sport. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.